so tonight is kind of just a general overview. This is our general info session. We're mostly going to be talking about um, applications, um, like high level questions, getting to know BU Wheelock, um, a little bit of an overview of our financial aid um, and our programs. Um, so at first I'm gonna talk a little bit about Big BU um, and then we'll get into our smaller community here at BU Wheelock. Um, we do have over 30 programs, so I won't get into super specifics, but if you do have specific programs, we can contact you with the program director. Um, and like I just said, I will also be discussing journal application process and we'll talk about financing your graduate degree as well. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in chat. And so we have BU at a glance. Um, Boston University is one of the largest private comprehensive research in, uh, institutions in the, great, the greater Boston area. Um, it's situated right in Boston, which is the birthplace of public education uh, in the US. Uh, we have three campuses, 17 schools and colleges, and over 33,000 students across undergrad and graduate programs. And then we have over 10,000 staff. Um, we are the third largest employer in the city of Boston. Um, and we really do have a great diverse global community here. Um, we have students from all 50 states and then 130 countries around the globe. Um, BU itself is quite big, um, but BU Willock really gives a nice balance with a much smaller college feel. Um, so you can really get to know your peers and faculty and staff. Um, and yeah, just, but still have access to all of those big university um, resources. So why BU? Um, being the first college at BU named after a woman, we proudly carry the name of Lucy Wheelock. Uh, she was an early childhood educator and a staunch advocate for the rights of children and immigrant families. Um, at BU Wheelock, the overall message is to work with children and families to uplift the community towards a society through the power of education and practice. Um, we are committed to transforming systems that impact learning and human development to create a more just future. Um, and you will make an impact through the work of the centers, community-based partnerships, placements, research policy, and human potential transformed. Um, as we see here is our mission. Um, like I just said, um, education is kind of the baseline for so many things. And here at Wheelock, we really want to, um, you know, take the next steps to shaping the future of our school and school communities. So next I'll talk about the EDI, our EDI statement. Um, like I was just saying, EDI is central to all we do as a college. Um, it is hard to have education without having um, a focus on diversity. Um, about 25% of our students are international. Um, again, we have 18 representative countries here at BU Wheelock and 25 of our students are first gen. Um, we also have a lot of really amazing affinity groups, um, including BIPOC educators. I know that all of our affinity groups meet at least once a month and they do some really, really cool activities together. Um, I know that they have really great networking opportunities and uh, just have a really great rapport with each other. So that's always really, really fun. Um, and yeah. So next we have our student support and programming. Um, we obviously have our amazing faculty here who will be your advisor your entire time at BU Wheelock. Um, we also have academic success specialists um, who can help you with classes, help you with um, finding internships or jobs on campus. We have financial aid assistance, which is me and then Brian. Um, and we can always help you with any roadblocks you come in contact with. Um, while you're here at BU Wheelock. And then finally, we have administrative support. Um, we have professional uh, preparation that can help you with the MCATs. And then we also have our data and enrollment management, um, which helps with kind of the back end stuff and paperwork and things like that. Um, and yeah, we are always happy to help. 
Um, again, if anyone has specific financial aid questions, I can absolutely answer them um, in our Q&A session at the end. Um, yeah. All right. So again, like I said a little earlier, BU has a wide uh, pool of resources and activities that are all accessible to our grad students. Um, so even if you're online, so both in-person and online students, you have access to our wealth of resources that includes career services, our libraries, academic tutoring. Um, we also have comprehensive support through the health services office and the office of disability services, if that's something that you would ever need. Um, you can also engage outside the classroom. Um, I know BU has hundreds of student-led clubs and organizations that grad students are more than welcome to join while you're here at BU. Um, you can also engage with the Howard Thurman Center and check out a play at the Wheelock Family Theater. Um, and then we also have the Center of Anti-Racist Racist Research led by the renowned scholar Ibrahim Kennedy. Um, and pretty much there's always so much happening around campus. We have a wonderful campus right in Boston um, on Commonwealth Ave, and there's always something going on. So it's really lively and fun. Um, yeah. Next, we'll go a little in depth on our programs. As you can see, we have quite a lot here. Um, so I won't go into each and every one, but I will give a general overview of our bucket programs. Um, we'll start with the Master of Education over here. Um, <clears throat> one of our largest buckets, uh, this is one of our largest buckets of programs aside from Applied Human Development and Counseling. Um, so we have our cre uh, curriculum and teaching programs down to World Language Ed. These are all teacher preparation programs. Uh, the EDM versus the, you'll also see like there's the Master of Education versus the Master of Arts in Teaching. Um, and then we also have um, our Applied Human Development and Counseling. There are sub-concentrations that lead to licensure. Um, and in those programs, in our counseling programs, you have like practicums that take up a majority of your second year um, that help you complete the hours needed to become licensed in those professions. Um, and then for our counseling, we have three different sub concentrations. We have youth uh, and young adult mental health. We have school and sports counseling. Um, and then again, all of those lead to licensure. Uh, our EDMs are generally shorter in length. Those are from 20 or sorry, 32 to 36 credits to complete. Um, you can do the some of our programs part time. Um, even if you are on campus, you can still do um, some of your coursework online if you want to. And then our MATs are generally longer programs with ranging around 42 credits. Um, so our MATs are for folks who do not have uh, an initial or provisional license and who are looking to become teachers in a specific area. Um, we also have a newer program is our Education for Equity and Social Justice. It's an interdisciplinary program that seeks to empower professionals to confront the consequences of systemic uh, inequalities and discrimination against people who have been historically marginalized in education and social services institutions. Um, and then we also have our master's in educational policy, child life, and family-centered care. Um, and then again, we have another new program um, that focuses on leadership and policy at the early childhood level. Um, finally, we do have our CAGS programs. These are certificates for advanced graduate study um, that are subject-based and for folks who have completed a master's degree but aren't interested in doing a PhD or doctoral level work. And then we also have a handful of doctoral programs, but we're not super focusing on that today. Um, this is mostly for our master's degrees. Uh, if you do have questions about our PhD program, we have a info session from a couple months ago that we can drop in chat for you. And then we'll move on to preparing for your application. So this is both your requirements and reviews. So the way that you start your application is you go to our website and you can start the application there. Um, you will need a resume or CV. 
um, a statement of qualifications and objectives, uh, equity inclusion statement, uh, optional essay, uh, your official or unofficial transcripts, and then two letters of recommendation. Um, these can be uploaded directly to the application, but if you're having some kind of technical issue or having trouble finding that, you can always email them to our email, wegrad at bu.edu, and we can upload them ourselves. Um, so we'll get a little bit more into this admissions process. Um, I know we get a lot of questions about the personal statement. What should I have on there? Is there anything specific to what I should be talking about? Um, you know, what are you guys looking for the admission process? Uh, we really want you to be specific to why you're choosing BU, why you're choosing BU Wheelock, and why are you applying to the program you're applying to. We really want to, specifically our faculty, really want to know if you're a great fit for their program. Um, so making it very personable and explaining why this program will help you in your future career endeavors is super important to include in there. And then the equity and inclusion statement. Um, so Boston University Wheelock is committed to equity, uh, diversity, inclusion, and social justice. Um, so commenting on these principles in the context of your professional aspirations. Both of these statements should be about two pages, double-spaced. Um, optional essay, again, like it states, is completely optional. This can be kind of anything you want to also show to faculty when they review your applications. So this could be research that you've done in the past. It could be a paper that you're really proud of that you did in undergrad. Um, it can be um, like if you did an internship and you want to write about that. If you think that will be uh, helpful to your application, definitely include that. Um, and yeah, if you have any other questions uh, surrounding um, the application process, again, we can answer them in the Q and A. Um, so preparing for your application, your deadlines are coming up. Um, at the moment, all of our programs now are in the rolling admissions section. Um, if you are looking to apply for the following year, um, that, or not the following year, if you're looking for the absolute deadline for fall of 2024, um, it'll be August 1st. Um, I have a typo in there, my bad. Um, and then for international students, the final deadline to apply for fall 2024 is July 1st. Um, this is just so we can provide you with as much time as you need to get your visas all set up. Um, uh, and then we'll also talk about some financing your degree. Um, here's kind of a breakdown of our tuition and mandatory fees currently. Um, these are subject to change a little bit. Uh, we've also included our part-time prices um, and then also the types of assistantship, assistance we have here at BU, um, scholarships and fellowships. And on average, we provide about $10 million uh, of scholarship to our students, and about 60% of our applicants um, are awarded scholarship uh, over the last two years. Um, so what does this mean? Like, how do I do this? I think this is like such a scary part of the application process. Um, so if you do uh, receive scholarship, um, that is with you the entire time you're at BU Wheelock. So let's say you do a two-year program and you're awarded, um, you know, $33,000 your first year. If you're here for two years, you also get that $33,000 your next year too. Um, so that would be split up between the semesters. So 15, around 15 off, 15K off your first bill in the fall and then another 15K off your bill in the spring. Um, additionally, we can also chat about student loans. There are two types of loans that students typically take out. You have your private loans and your federal loans. Uh, federal loans will generally give you a better rate on repayment. Um, one thing to keep in mind if you're applying to loans, your parents are, and guardians are not factored into your estimated family contribution, which is the calculator that the that federal government uses to determine how much you can borrow or should borrow. Um, so you may get more favorable loan rates at the graduate level if you aren't making a lot of money. And so that's why we typically um, 
we typically suggest students go for the federal loans. Um, but every so often, um, you can get a slightly better rate with a private loan. And again, if you have any more questions, we'll also drop our financial aid uh, email in chat, and we can always talk one-on-one -on -one with you if you have very specific questions about financial aid. And then before we get to questions, um, we have some like frequently asked questions that we get a lot. So what time of day do our classes usually take place? Um, a majority of our classes actually take place after 4 p.m. A lot of our students here work um, while they're also financing their or while they're also doing their degree. Um, so people who are working part time or taking classes part time um, get a discounted rate uh, with our evening uh, classes. Um, can you do your program entirely online? Again, that depends. Here are our list of programs that are designed for online learning. Um, and then who will your classmates be? Um, we have a lot of partner schools and organizations. Um, we have a lot of students who are coming straight from undergrad. And then we also have full-time teachers, like I just said, newly graduated undergrads, and then career changers. Um, I think that's one of BU Wheelock's biggest strengths is that you get to make connections with people who are already in the field that you might be working towards the same degree in. Um, and it's a wonderful way to make connections. Um, and yeah. And I guess now we will start uh, the questions. Here are our contact information um, and our website. So we have our We Aid website for financial aid stuff. And then we also have our We Grad um, email for application processing and general questions.